Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving on unto the wife, as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one of another, love his brethren, be pitiful, be courteous. The kingdom of darkness has planted agents among us to pollute the awakening. Satan knew the Most High would awake his people and the strangers among us. To interfere with the awakening, Satan assembled many groups with different beliefs, just as he created religion with multiple denominations. If Yah were the force behind religion and Hebrew Israelite groups and assemblies, his people would be on one accord. Remember, the Most High is not the author of confusion. Satan created multiple doctrines to ensure the Israelite community remained divided. The scriptures inform us a kingdom that is divided shall not stand. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. There is nothing new under the sun. If a household or a nation cannot stand when the spirit of division is present, why do the awakened Israelites give the spirit of division an opportunity? Instead of allowing the spirit of division to tear down our communities, why not join forces to fight the enemy? Why give room to an unclean spirit? The Most High prophesied what is taking place in this generation thousands of years ago. Because the Most High has revealed the information beforehand, we should not be surprised that there are Israelites who trade their glory for the lesser. As a people, instead of entertaining the doctrines of devils, we should seek the Most High for answers. The kingdom of darkness knew the Most High would appoint his anointed individuals to help his people in the awakening. The kingdom of darkness is not going to sit back and watch their kingdom fall. Satan and his angels are going to fight back. The kingdom of darkness have multiple strategies to attack the awakening. We all should know by now Satan loved to imitate the Most High. Satan is growing his army with half-truth. As long as the kingdom of darkness keep you operating in the flesh, the kingdom of darkness will rule over you. The doctrines of devils we have been subject to in the Israelite community are doctrines that are pleasing the Israelites' flesh. The doctrines of devils being pushed are glorifying the Israelite males and devaluing the Israelite women. The best way to weaken a nation is to attack the head or the leaders. When the head is in rebellion, the entire nation or household will be out of order. The scriptures inform us rebellion is the sin of witchcraft. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry, because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord. He hath also rejected thee from being king. Israelites, witchcraft is used against us eternal and external. Remember, a person's enemies are the members of their own household. King Saul was the Israelites' first king. Saul had a history of disobeying the Most High. Saul served the Most High the way he wanted. Saul did not care to listen to the way the Most High wanted to be served. Due to his rebellion, he was stripped of his kingship and he suffered a terrible death. Yah transferred the kingship to a leader that was after his own heart. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after mine own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. King David did whatever the Most High asked him to do. The spirit of the Most High led David. Today we have Israelite leaders establishing their own righteousness. They are not listening to the Most High, nor is the Holy Spirit leading them. This generation of leaders are repeating the sins of Saul. Saul died a terrible death. Today we are witnessing Israelites falling by the sword and being left in the streets for everyone to be dismayed by. To add insult to their injuries, their killers declared not guilty. Do you see how history is repeating itself? Israelites are suffering miserable death. 
Any corporation or household without proper leadership would fail. The Most High knew beforehand that Satan would interfere with the awakening. The Most High said in the last days he would pour out his spirit on all flesh. Both men and women would prophesy. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. The Most High stated he will pour out his spirit on all flesh in the Old and New Testaments, confirming the matter. The scripture said with the testimony of two or three witnesses, a matter is established. Yah is an Elohim of structure and order. The kingdom of darkness interference did not catch the Most High off guard. You may not know what is going to happen in the next hour, days, weeks, or years. The Most High know. The scripture said when he fashioned us in our mother's womb, he knew us. In addition, Yah know what we are in need of before we ask. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of, before ye ask him. The Most High do not test us to find out what's in our heart. Yah already know what's in our heart. He tests us for us to find out what's in our heart and what we are capable of doing. Peter is a great example. Peter thought he would not buckle under pressure. Peter believed he was strong and a ride or die until the Most High tests him. Yahshua revealed to Peter that he would deny him twice. Peter displayed an enormous amount of pride. When Peter found out what was in his heart, it humbled him. Peter answered and said unto him, Though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet will I never be offended. Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this night, before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. Peter said unto him, Though I should die with thee, yet will I not deny thee. Likewise also said all the disciples. And after a while came unto him they that stood by, and said to Peter, Surely thou also art one of them, for thy speech betrayeth thee. Then began he to curse and to swear, saying, I know not the man. And immediately the cock crew. And Peter remembered the word of Jesus, which said unto him, before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. And he went out and wept bitterly. The more anointed Israelites operating in their gift of prophesying, teaching, and assisting their people is a positive thing. I do not understand why a daughter of Zion who know the word would offend anyone. I do not understand why anyone would take a daughter of Zion wisdom and gift of teaching as an abomination. When Israelites build a personal relationship with the Most High, they are getting to know their Elohim. The Most High want his people to seek him, both male and female. Not too many Israelites would fall by the wayside when they seek their Elohim. His ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are greater than our thoughts. If the Most High allow only the men of Israel to prophesy and teach his people, Yah would make it easy for the kingdom of darkness to attack his people. All the kingdom of darkness have to do is target the men of Israel. Sow a bad seed into their mind, sit back and watch them destroy themselves. What will happen is the men will begin to teach their household the doctrines of devils. The leaders will begin to pass the infiltrated doctrines to their congregations and communities. Before you know it, the entire nation will be submitted to the doctrines of devils. The people of the Most High will be out of alignment with their Elohim. That is why Yah placed his spirit in both the male and female, making it harder for the kingdom of darkness to destroy his people. Israelites, look at it in this perspective. When the Most High exiled his people and placed them in all the nations of this world, he made it difficult for the kingdom of darkness to genocide his people. To us, our scattering in all nations may appear to be a bad thing. However, the Most High is protecting his people. If Satan decided he wants to attack the Israelites living in the north, the Most High has other Israelites living in other parts of this world, making it difficult to attack all of his people. 
If the Most High decided that he would place all of his people in one nation, Yah would make it easy for the kingdom of darkness to attack his people. He would be handing his people on a platter to their enemies. The Most High is wise to hide his people in all the nations of this world. The same way the Most High knew it was not a good idea to keep his people in one place, the Most High knew the importance of placing his spirit in all of his people. If one member of the family unit is weak, the other members of the family can support the weakened individual. If the Most High only deal with the men of Israel, what would happen to the family unit when the husband fall into sin? How can he be saved if the Most High is not dealing with his wife? I am sure the husband that fell into sin would be furious if another man entered his house to command him. If the Most High do not deal with women, what would be the fate of that man's family when he falls into sin? If the Most High do not deal with women, why would he declare himself to be an Elohim to the oppressed, the fatherless, and the widow? A father of the fatherless and a judge of the widows is God in his holy habitation. Yah must be dealing with women if he said he is an Elohim to the widow and the fatherless. If the Most High were not listening to the head of the household or the wife, does that mean that family is finished? The scriptures instruct us to pray without ceasing and to pray for each other. The Most High has sons and daughters. If Yah is instructing his people to pray without ceasing, this indicates he is instructing his daughters as well. Ask yourself why the Most High would not listen to the prayers of his daughters. If Yah were not dealing with the daughters of Zion, why would he instruct them to pray? The Most High loved the daughters of Zion just as much as he loved his sons. The Most High do not show favoritism. For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, a great God, a mighty and a terrible, which regardeth not persons, nor taketh reward. For there is no respect of persons with God. The kingdom of darkness planted tares among the wheat to keep the chosen people in rebellion. As long as the Israelites remain in rebellion, the longer the kingdom of darkness rule. The Most High only need a few Israelites doing the right thing to change our situations. The Most High said to Abraham, if I can find 10 righteous in the city, I will save the entire city. The Most High was unable to find 10 righteous people living in Sodom and Gomorrah. Therefore, he destroyed those cities. And he said, Oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak yet but this once. Peradventure ten shall be found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for ten's sake. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities, and all the plain, and all the inhabitants of the cities, and that which grew upon the ground. If this generation of Israelites were righteous and focusing on deliverance, we would be victorious against our enemies' attacks. In addition, we would defeat the spirit of division in the awakening. If the Most High is not dealing with women, then the men of Israel need to hold themselves accountable for their communities. If your household and communities is destroyed, it is your own fault. You cannot blame the daughters of Zion. The men who push the doctrines of devils will hold everybody else responsible for their failures. They will never look at themselves. Satan has deceived them. The remnant the Most High is preserving consists of men, women, children, and the strangers. The Most High is not only dealing with the men of Israel. The Most High's kingdom will consist of men and women. The Most High has to deal with women if they will be in the kingdom. If Yah is allowing the strangers into the kingdom, what about his daughters, the only women that can give birth to the Israelite bloodline? Only the wicked will find a problem with the Most High speaking through his daughters. Only the wicked would try to discourage the daughters of Zion from doing what the Most High called her to do. Only the wicked would have a problem with the daughter of Zion using her gifts and talents. Only the wicked would have a problem with the women the Most High anointed to teach his people in the awakening. Only the wicked will bring destruction to his community by mistreating his helpmate. 
Only the wicked have a problem with the most high reaching out to help and save his people through a woman. The righteous among us hunger and thirst for the words of the most high. The righteous is seeking the most high for guidance. The righteous is repenting, not glorifying their flesh. The righteous wants to spread the truth around the world and they do not care if a man or a woman deliver the message. I do not believe the most high would have a problem with women wanting to see their people prosper. I do not believe the most high would have a problem with women helping his people build a personal relationship with him. I do not believe the most high would chastise his daughters if she is telling his people to repent. The scripture said the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are a few. Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. The Israelites who spread the doctrines of devils do not operate in the spirit. The Holy Spirit is not guiding them. The scripture said one of the many jobs of the Holy Spirit is to reveal truth to us and tell us the things to come. When you do not have the Holy Spirit teaching and guiding you, the result is what is happening in our communities today. The people who fall for the doctrines of devils are operating in the flesh. The flesh is Satan's territory. Wisdom comes from the Most High. If the Most High approved the doctrines of devils that has been plaguing our people, then our communities would have flourished. Instead, our communities are in a decline and stagnant. The leaders and their helpmate do not support each other. That is not of the most high. Too many Israelites are operating in the flesh. When you operate in the flesh, Satan will use you to destroy yourself. The most high said, a man who love his wife, love himself. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies? He that loveth his wife, loveth himself. In addition to loving yourself, the scripture said, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtain favor. Where is your favor? There is an alarming amount of Israelites who do not love nor care for their counterpart. The scriptures made it clear that a man who do not love his wife do not love himself. If he did, he would not try to destroy what comes from him. It takes a black man and a black woman to make a black child. Your children and your wife bear your name. Your counterpart is your mirror. The grass is not greener on the other side. I do not know about anybody else. I would not place no heathen over my seed and my people. Regardless of what the kingdom of darkness make it appear to be, nobody can do it better than the black woman and the black man. The indigenous people that was made in the most highest image. Nothing is more beautiful than the most highest creation. I would not let the kingdom of darkness distort my view. A day is coming when the most high would deliver the black man from the witchcraft spell that was put on him to devalue his seed and to destroy his community. Yah will return the love of the fathers to their children. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Satan has planted into the minds of the men of Israel that the daughters of Zion are worthless and bring no value to them. By doing this, he can manipulate the sons of Israel to walk in a manner that is beneficial to the kingdom of darkness. The Most High would not give you a helpmate if you did not need help. If you could do it by yourself, then the Most High would give you the ability to do it by yourself. When Moses tried to settle disputes and judge the entire Israelite community by himself, the Most High said to him that what he was doing was not good. The Most High instruct Moses' father-in-law to tell Moses to appoint leaders to help him. And it came to pass on the morrow that Moses sat to judge the people, and the people stood by Moses from the morning unto the evening. And when Moses' father-in-law saw all that he did to the people, he said, What is this thing that thou doest to the people? Why sittest thou thyself alone, and all the people stand by thee from morning unto even? And Moses said unto his father-in-law, Because the people come unto me to inquire of God. When they have a matter, they come unto me, and I judge between one and another, and I do make them know the statutes of God and his laws. And Moses' father-in-law said unto him, the thing that thou doest is not good. Thou wilt surely wear away both thou and this people, 
that is with thee. For this thing is too heavy for thee. Thou art not able to perform it thyself alone. We need all hands on deck to be successful in the awakening. I need every Israelite to understand the person that is standing in front of you is not the one teaching you. The Most High anointed is a vessel being used by the Holy Spirit. It is the Spirit of the Most High speaking through the person standing in front of you. The individual standing in front of you is not doing anything. Do not give the Most High praise and glory to flesh. That no flesh should glory in his presence. That according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. Because it is the Most High speaking through his anointed teachers, it does not matter if it is a male or a female standing in front of you. Yah is your teacher. Do not place any flesh on a pedestal. Many Israelites are looking to gratify their flesh and raise themselves above the Most High. The Most High know how to humble his people. Yah do not play with his glory. I am the Lord. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. All Israelites in the awakening need to humble themselves, just as the scriptures state. You must learn to decrease. Do not seek self-gratification so that the Most High may increase in this awakening. He must increase, but I must decrease. The kingdom of darkness have deceived many Israelite males into believing a woman that teaches asserting authority over them. I am here to inform the men of Israel that is not true. We are living in the last days. Yah need all of his anointed people to fulfill their calling. If the Most High is giving a daughter of Zion a platform, the Most High has the right to do that. Yah has the final say. Do not mistake a woman who is called by the Most High to spread the truth as taking the leadership role from you. An Israelite woman cannot take your role from you. Most men are discarding their role just as Esau did with his birthright. In this generation, there are a lot of men walking away from their responsibilities. In addition, many males who choose not to deal with the daughters of Zion. The Most High's will needs to be done regardless if you choose to step up or not. Yah will use whom he choose to get the job done. The Most High gave the husband authority to rule his household. You must be a husband to lead a household, not a boyfriend, fiance, or a fling. If you do not have a household to lead, that is something you must speak to the Most High about. The awakening is about repentance, not gratifying the flesh and enslaving the daughters of Zion. We have to work together, both the male and the female, to be successful. Working together with your help meet to further our communities is a good thing. When we are divided, we fall. The kingdom of darkness has blinded the eyes of many Israelites. The kingdom of darkness is trying to devalue the daughters of Zion. Israelite women, you have the ability to pray and the Most High will hear your prayers. Do not sit back and take the abuse. Satan know only your womb can give birth to the chosen people. If he devalue you in the sight of your men, the Israelite bloodline will cease. The kingdom of darkness has manipulated many Israelite males into believing any woman can give birth to an Israelite child. By doing this, he can infiltrate and pollute the holy bloodline. Any one of our people who choose to be with a heathen is giving birth to a new bloodline. You are not creating Israelite children. The Most High wants a relationship with all of his children, the male and the female. If the Most High do not deal with women, why did the Most High give Queen Esther favor in the sight of her husband, the king, to save Mordecai and the rest of the Israelites in her generation? If the Most High do not deal with women, why did the Most High choose Mary to give birth to Yeshua? If the Most High do not deal with women, when Rebekah asked the Most High what is going on in her womb, why did the Most High respond to her prayer, revealing to Rebecca that two nations was in her womb and the oldest would serve the younger? And the children struggled together within her, and she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. With the wisdom Rebecca received from the Most High, she acted quickly to be sure the Most High's will was done. 
Isaac, who loved Esau more than he loved Jacob, would have continued in following tradition and transfer the birthright to Esau. Jacob's descendants would not have been the chosen people if Rebekah did not put herself on the line to see to it the Most High's will was done. And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison. But Rebekah loved Jacob. And his mother said unto him, Upon me be thy curse, my son. Only obey my voice, and go fetch me them. And he went, and fetched, and brought them to his mother. And his mother made savory meat such as his father loved. King David did not mistreat the daughters of Zion, neither did Moses and the other anointed prophets of the Most High. They did not allow the kingdom of darkness to distort their view. Simeon and Levi knew their sister's worth when they defend her honor from the other nations. A daughter of Zion that is anointed by the Most High should not be a threat to her counterpart. He should appreciate her wisdom and use her wisdom to reclaim his throne. Your helpmate is not your opponent. The kingdom of darkness is your opponent. Many Israelites are waking up daily. Eventually, they will be subject to doctrines of devils. The Most High wants to make sure the kingdom of darkness do not prevail in setting his people back, especially after delivering them out of the house of bondage, religion. Israelites, the kingdom of darkness is the creator of the doctrines of devils referring to women not being able to teach and the Most High is not dealing with women. Attack the spirit of division, you will begin to see a turnaround in our community. Whenever our people have good leaders, we serve the Most High and thrive as a people. In this generation, we are struggling. The kingdom of darkness has bribed the so-called leaders in this generation. If you are for the Most High, then serve him with all of your heart and might. The kingdom of darkness do not have the last say. Attack the spirit of division at the root and resist the devil and he would flee from you. The Most High need his sons and daughters working together to overcome the kingdom of darkness. Do not fall for Satan's game. Israelite men, you need the daughters of Zion. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn.